Did you see the Olympic pole vaulter who yes. got disqualified because his dick was too big? Okay, so <laughs> I just want to say that I think I, I may get into pole vaulting now. So I need his number so that I know how to become an Olympian. Like, <laughs> that's literally Imagine, the only reason why I want it. I he's going to get like, so much pussy <laughs> after this. Dude. Bro, ridiculous amount of we're gonna be three of them. <laughs> <laughs> right, we're back with two girls, one blunt. I have a hole in my pants. Oh, let's see it in the cross. Hey! Oh, wait, is your bodysuit not attached either? No, it is. Are you in no, full? It, is. it no, is. No, it is. My bodysuit's attached. What a shame. Anyway, I could whip it off. You know, <laughs> give you guys a taste of the medicine. A taste of the medicine. A what is full it? of sugar. What is it? Supposed like the down. cherry medicine or the green all medicine, right like the, the, emily poppins the bubble gum it could be it could be whatever you want it to be baby <laughs> that could be your perfect stripper name emily poppins emily poppins. <laughs> <laughs> do i remind you of mary poppins she's like you were the one talking about look what's in my bag <laughs> what's funny. in her bag did you hear about the guy that that did his his girlfriend's stripper pole business in a storage unit no what did yeah. he do like he was like oh babe i'm gonna help you open your business blah 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 blah, blah. and he rented out a storage unit so she could have pole dancing classes that's so storage sweet <laughs> wait okay imagine you I get like that. an ad that's cute right? for a pole like, dancing classes in so and much. it's in a storage unit like yeah. i would not go i would be like that's <laughs> like, how i die that's where i get trapped this is yes this is how taken starts the yeah. next part <laughs> i've seen this in a movie somewhere and i didn't like the ending who for do we sure. have with us today we have the lovely the beautiful the dina cruz <laughs> i know <laughs> the, the dina the dina, dina cruz <laughs> We got our girl Dina, Miami comedian. Sweet. She's very funny. We love her. No, I'm not. I'm just gonna use a hard R word. I am not funny. I'm just a a tard. <laughs> the hard R word. <laughs> Which I th that could have gone in two different directions, and that was not the direction of yeah, what I no. thought you were gonna say. I was a little nervous. <laughs> ah, you see. Sometimes. See, she's a comedian. She's misdirecting us already. <laughs> When I tell you, my period cramps just came out of nowhere. That was that sp spicy shit you ate. It wasn't even that spicy. First of all, bitch, <laughs> I didn't grow up here. <laughs> all right. I grew up eating chicken tenders. It's your Caucasian tonsil. I feel like our, our, my struggle meals were different. You guys are white, so it's different. Yeah, what are your struggle meals? Uh, As like, a we, like our equivalent of like mac and cheese with hot dogs is probably like arroz con salchicha. Like oh, what's that's that? rice and which is literally and rice chicha. and like the little Vienna sausages. <laughs> what's a you know chicha? the little Vienna sausages that come oh. in the can. Like that's that's the struggle meal. Like that shit's so good. Okay, though. that's the same so shit. Fire. It's the same shit. That's what I'm saying. So I feel like that's like our equivalent. You yeah. know what I mean? I watch the people on TikTok and it's like, watch me cook a family of five dinner. Uh, while I live in a trailer or something like that. <laughs> I see those. And it's all like the time. really like like poverty level and it's like what they make and i'm just like damn that's what my mom used to make too <laughs> you're like it's all the dots are connecting now dude yeah. or they oh, make like great. a gourmet meal and i'm like why was my mom not good enough that's true i've seen them cook up like amazing meals and i'm like yo we didn't have to struggle the way we did no they had creativity we had pain yeah that's true but you know what now you have great material for comedy so who gives a shit right that's true you know and you get to eat spicy wagyu that brings on your period cramps High i'm five. literally in so much pain right now <laughs> that i like might have to get up and go get the well you didn't get it already oh, no, no i forgot and now i'm in pain go oh. get it really quick i'm in, a, go I'm in like one of those attacks right now go grab it hey brady you're on two girls one blunt again yeah <laughs> <laughs> hi dina hi, i love you brady hi, the audience. <laughs> that's what makes fun shorts no no that's and then it started with a d i'm a sensitive 40 year old man that's i it. thought you were 44 that, come on, come on. <laughs> ah. all right what question would you like to what would you like to ask dina um okay do you like um when a guy tries to make a, uh, a move on the first date it depends how much i like the guy what if he looks like me brady <laughs> we're not going out? out on a date <laughs> <laughs> You can't try to marry me and try to fuck my friends. We've been over this. We'll talk to you Jesus. later.
You failed the first You're round. You're done. You're what? done. That's it. Oh. We'll call you next. Try next time on Two Girls, One Blunt podcast. Bye. And the fuck boy is in him. It doesn't, you know, it's not something you outgrow. You yeah. just feel like you'd learn to maneuver it better, like alcoholism. <laughs> like that's... Um, how did that go for my family, though? I don't know. I don't know. Literally, well. though. I don't know. I mean... You learn how to deal with it better that you're like, you gaslight yourself into being like, it's not an addiction. No, not at all. I'm functioning perfectly. I'm perfect. It's people that are fucked up. It's other people that have issues. It's this world. That's so true. We should all just continue with our addictions. <laughs> yes. Maybe everyone should just cater to me. Oh. Yeah. oh I would love that. Let me cater to you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you can. Jamie, this is your day. <laughs> Huh? I like it. I like uh, fueling my delusions that I am the main <laughs> character. Thank you. <laughs> but aren't we all the main character? That's what yes. I'm saying. Like, I, when I said it'd be about me, I meant that. But it's about you guys too. Like you, know you have I mean? the same thought. Do you know? Like I do. <laughs> <laughs> like all of our lives, we I'm all like, deserve oh, no, wait, to have fuck. everyone cater to us. Yeah, and just definitely. Us. What if we all I like believe. take turns? Like we each had a day a week. Where everything was about us. What if you got I mean, the that, thing where like, everything's birthdays? about you on a day like that you wanted birthdays. to be alone? Birthdays? Yeah. Honestly, I'll take days where it's not about me ever. Actually, that sounds kind of exhausting. Yeah, it does. If you had to live your birthday like, every day. No, hell fuck no. I'm good. Wait, but what Absolutely if, is it not. just like people fanning you? Like, that's what I'm picturing. <laughs> oh, like they're just like taking care of you. Everyone's liking your photos. Oh, you know so your like engagement Emily's, like, is up on a Roman hammock, like eating grapes and I'm shit. I'm being fed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> everything yeah. in life is going good. <laughs> yeah, I would love that. I mean, that's fun. That sounds fun. For like five minutes, like I don't think I could handle that. We just that's have to go much. back Damn. to living outside, making the men go hunt, and we stay back and crochet. And it. make magic potions. I like I'm that. down. I'm with it. I'm and down. and we run in fields with no bras because so they don't have. Making, they don't exist. If we're making magic potions, can we have pockets back again? Like, pockets? No, we're not allowed pockets. No, no, no. <laughs> we can't have everything. Okay. No, we discover. We Damn create it. pockets. We redesign pockets. Ooh. Dude, we're in the future, but back not in the future. I get it. Like some handmaid's tale, but like backwards. Like it's well, the handmaid's tale, but opposite. Not that yeah, far. <laughs> that's what I said, but backwards. Like, I just want to be in a magical fairyland where everything is happy and good and I can just frolic. Like somebody asked me to pay a bill Emily and I was like, like, I'm like just a, nymph, a girl. Like a like little like fairy. Like bangles on, you, you know? You give like fairy vibes. Oh, me? That's what, yeah. Like a head up in the clouds. I could picture it. A little ditzy. Like I need laughter portrait. to keep going. Isn't that portrait. what Tinkerbell needed? Yeah. yeah. No, it wasn't laughter. Attention. attention. I need that too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fairy. You see? She doesn't get it. She'll die. She'll die. Yep. We were talking about my suicide Make sure attempt. you like and subscribe so Emily doesn't die. Uh, earlier, did I ever tell you about how I tried to kill myself? I don't think so. I, I was 12 and I was like, I'm going to kill myself. I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going on hunger strike. <laughs> and I stopped eating. And I made it five days. <laughs> <laughs> and then I broke down and ate a pound of carrots. And I was like, you know what? Maybe life is worth living. You tried to starve yourself <laughs> to death. I was like, I'm going to go out. That's the worst <laughs> way to go. Your body starts like... You eat yourself. You eat yourself. Yeah. I feel like that's like a superhero origin story <laughs> in some weird way. Yeah, that's that's how like she now Emily so has x-ray vision and we nobody knows uh, it. And she won't tell anyone. She just has great fucking eyesight. Because I didn't consume anything, I can consume everything. Ooh. Like I could eat this couch. That'd be a shitty superpower. Yeah, no, that wouldn't be a cool superpower. If you had a superpower, what would what would you want it to be? I'd want to look at something or read something or touch something and know it immediately. Including including physical moves. So if I watched somebody do karate, I could just know karate. So you basically like want you the matrix. Download. Like the download. Mm-hmm. That'd like be a good Lucy. one. Like, yeah, so there's a show called Heroes. Okay. And it's older and it's about this like cheerleader who's there to save them all. <laughs> it's, a, <laughs> it's actually 
a very, very good show. Jamie's like, my autobiography heroes. Is- yeah. <laughs> I've literally thought I was like a superhero since I was a kid. I was like, it's going to happen. That joke is real that I do on stage. <laughs> like, that's a real, that's Jamie's how like my child waiting was. for the radioactivity to kick in. Yeah. It's just my fucking pH imbalance instead. <laughs> um, I'll give you something radioactive. Okay. Oh, I um, thought I was going to get my Harry Potter letter when I turned 11. And then I thought it was going to be like Lord of the Rings and like the quest was going to find me. And somehow I was like an elf or something. And none you of give it's ever vibes. happened. You give elven vibes. Elf. For elf, sure. Fairy. Like that's fairy thing. elf. Like, yeah. like you have like a, a white glow around you. And like light makeup that's like. Yeah. 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 The, like girl, the girl who came and saved the um, like just, Frodo. Just a um, fan everywhere you go and your hair's just always like yeah. <laughs> blowing in the wind. Yeah, and then you're like she talks and you're like, Wow. <laughs> Meanwhile I talk, I'm like pee pee poo poo. And then <laughs> I'm I'm in the corner. I'm in the corner with moles on my face and a big nose like No 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 I'm a witch. No, absolutely not. Not at all. Not a good guy. You can can't be, be a witch. You don't have pockets. You can't. Oh, facts. Yeah. That's true. Where do I hide shit? <laughs> they have to have like a trench coat or no, something. No, it's like my it's like the bra that can fit everything. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm just like, exactly. oh, yeah. Hold on, let me check my purse. I pull out I a know gallon it's in here jug somewhere. Of water. Hold on. I pull out one Wait of the cats. <laughs> All of the cats. <laughs> it's like I pull out Emily's bag, coming. but now it's your tits. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. What do you want? I got it all. <laughs> Be a great place to hide drugs. <laughs> Dude. I don't know. If I had to choose a superpower, like, I would choose to be able to grow drugs very quickly <laughs> to grow drugs any very type quickly. of drug I a wanted. superpower to lead the money. cartel and never been could never be caught i'm gonna be the next Pablo like, i want to be Pablo escobar <laughs> exactly i knew it i do not and fbi if you're listening she's alone and <laughs> nobody knows her uh, I, okay oh i will gladly <laughs> how did i end up on this lease with her where is she <laughs> I'm actually being here held against my will. Help me save me. Fred, I know you're listening. Yeah. I tie her up every night so she can't leave. We talk to our secret FBI or CIA yeah. agent, whoever's listening. We call him Fred. But I think it'd be so funny because hypothetically, <laughs> if somebody was listening and we're ta- constantly talking to them like this, like we break the right. fourth wall. Okay. So that'd be so, that'd be the funniest thing for them to be watching yeah just be like, i feel like if i was that like, agent, like hey are you I'm working Fred. on this case they're like i can't wait to work on that case those girls are so funny <laughs> yeah <laughs> if i was that agent i would just be so mad that we're calling me by the wrong name i'd be like guys fred's not my name hey, and then i break my cover i'd be like it's yeah, emily okay, okay. You, we just hear a voice come from like the ceiling fan <laughs> it's actually ted okay <laughs> get it right bitches i'm oh. tired of this fucking case I'm getting rid of them. Have you guys been keeping up with the Olympics? Because I have. I have. You have? I have and I haven't. Okay, did you see the Olympic pole vaulter who yes. got disqualified because his dick was too big? Okay, so <laughs> I just want to say that I think I, I may get into pole vaulting now, so I need his number so that I know how to become an Olympian. Like, that's literally Imagine, the only reason why I want it. I he's going to get like, so much pussy after this. Dude. Bro, ridiculous amount of pussy. And we're going to be three of them. <laughs> <laughs> we actually volunteer as tribute. We will be in a line in Paris. Whoa. Does that Wait. count as like training an tower? Athlete? I'll Eiffel Tower like, him. <laughs> we'll oh. be over here like this. Exactly. We'll do the Miami mudslide. That's, Did you hear? That's when we oh my God. peg and... You know what? Did you guys hear that their beds are actually made out of cardboard so that they, so can't, they can't fuck? fuck? Oh, you find ways. I would be fucking. I'm like, I'm an Olympian. <laughs> like, I wouldn't even be thinking about fucking, but then they put in anti-fucking measures, so I would totally exactly. be Oh, no, it's like, the I biggest like fuck fest. Purpose. I think they went through, like, millions of condoms or something crazy. I forget what it was. It was when I was in college, um, and they were talking about... I'm pretty sure the at amount the of condoms that were used at the Olympics. At least and how many safe they sex. found left over and stuff. 
That's crazy. The SCD cases didn't, go up in Paris yeah, after the Olympics. Didn't chlamydia like go around? You guys didn't hear any of this? Let no. Me go, let me, I did not hear about any of this. Olymp- her Google search is Olympics chlamydia. Hey Siri. That's what happens when you're celibate, man. You don't hear about none of that crazy Are shit. Are STDs rampant in the Olympics? <laughs> Here's the medal count so far. Metal count. She gave you a metal count for STDs. That's, helpful, That's wild. Hey, Siri. <laughs> USA is gold. Show me articles on the Olympics regarding gold for chlamydia, syphilis, STDs. herpes. China with the silver. Oh, Paris man. caters to the Olympic romance by distributing 2.2 million free condoms. Nice. Is that per day? Never mind. 220,000. I'm just like oh, no. It's still a lot of condoms. 2016 Olympics, 450,000, including 100,000 female ones for the first time. Okay. Um, Exclu- I mean, in- inclusivity. inclusivity. Yeah, all right. Fair. Athletes in 2012, this was when I was in college, spilled the dirty secrets of the Olympics. I was in high school in 2012. Just in started. 2012, I had a four year old. <laughs> that's fucking wild right that's, that's insane. crazy in 2012. people were saying they feel like i'm running a brothel in the olympic village i've never witnessed so much debauchery in my entire life god how do i get in there? it's the world's hottest most physically capable people all fucking where uh, is the reality of tv course. show where is the porn yeah Fuck the reality i want to watch show. that olympics. The, the olympics is losing money every single year it destroys the economies of every yep. city it goes to for a while <clears throat> if they just put cameras in and they signed a waiver we could improve the economy we could see which country goes for the gold it'll be an olympian porn hub It'll and that great. wouldn't that really be the spirit of ancient Greece? Do you it's know how really fucking in the Olympics? Do you know how many you know how countries that ban that porn? It? Texas ban porn. We can't even go to Pornhub when we get there. What are we going to do? You're lying. No. <laughs> no, You're they lying, literally right? banned porn. They did? So Pornhub pulled out of Texas. The first time Pornhub has ever pulled out of anything. Because Texas requires you to submit your ID every time you go on a porn site to prove you're over 18. So Pornhub pulled like their licensing for Texas and they no longer operate And in that's that why state. OnlyFans works, right? Because you provide your ID to get mm-hmm. an account. Oh, wow. <laughs> crazy. Yeah. That is crazy. Well, you don't think about guess hearing I'm staying that. in Florida. <sighs> No, I don't want to have no to put my ID here. into a porn site. Like, no, that's true. And Florida lets you gamble. Hard Rock Cafe. Hell or yeah. Why does it say Hard Rock Cafe? The Hard Rock. I feel like that should be on the sign. Instead of like, welcome to the Sunshine State, it should be like, remember. We have this porn is still hub. The porn free, unvaccinated state. Like, we love us. <laughs> we don't get STD tested and we don't get our vaccines, but God damn nope. it if we don't fuck. Exactly. Dude, this isn't what somebody said. On the way to the practice field, the girls are in skimpy panties and bras. The dude's in underwear. So you see what everyone's working with from the jump, says Bro Greer, an American javelin thrower. Even if their face is a seven, their body was in a, is a 20. This dude was in a fraternity. He was an AE <laughs> pie. <laughs> I, I feel like I already know what he looks like. <laughs> He's definitely a Chad. He's like, like a oh, blonde. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. No get- matter your taste, the village has got you covered. The soccer girls, all hot. And they oh, dress yeah. like rock stars, one male swimmer says. Male gymnasts, they're like lovable little Ewoks, Kittner says. <laughs> Sacramoni wow. has a few favorites a of her own. As far as the best bodies, it's swimmers and water, water polo players. Okay. Because it's an insane workout. And the track guys, they're sneaky cute. Very serious, but when they line up, you're like, "Oh, you're kind of adorable." I'm literally reading a live replay of the last episode of Too Hot to Handle. (laughs) (laughs) No, I feel like that. That's like I don't know, like a good. Oh man, we should like set our hinges to like Paris right now, dude. Oh, people, huh? Oh, you're on to something, huh? Huh? Wait a minute, hear me out. That's how you get into the Olympics of fucking. We should set our... Like, yeah, they're going to they're gonna be see me and they'll be like, when's the last right time now? you worked out? <laughs> Same. And I'm going to be like, I don't know, walking down the stairs <laughs> to go get soup from somebody because I was too lazy to cook myself. Listen, how about you? you would Everybody be wants to date athletes, but like, exactly. I would feel so embarrassed if I dated an athlete. I, they'd be like so successful. Like, oh, I worked out for three hours today. I'd be like... 
I ordered Uber Eats <laughs> and went back to sleep. Like, dude, I did. I just had brownie tempura. <laughs> and then you date them and they're like, oh, you're going to eat chips again today for dinner? And I'm like, yeah, right. uh, yeah, the whole bag. I remember my ex used to do that. He'd be like, chips again. He goes, you know, you can't survive off of bread and coffee and chips. Uh, speak I think for yourself, I'm doing just buddy. fine. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly. I, I could survive and I could survive happily. I was like, watch me. And then I became, I got fat and I became a comedian. Should have been like, you know what I don't need to survive? You. Facts. <laughs> I didn't. We Boom. broke up. See? <laughs> R.I.P. to a good one. <sighs> oh. Was he really the R.I.P. No. to a good one? <laughs> no, but he, I would have been financially set. Uh. I wasn't with him for that at all. Because I told him, I was like, when we first started dating, he was like, so my dad says you do have to sign a prenup and I just have to talk about it now. And I go... I go, that won't be a problem because you'll be signing a prenup. Wait, and, this and he goes, how far in? This was like, oh, this was like our first month of dating. We talked about the prenup right off the bat. He's oh, like, if this works wild. out, he goes, if this works out, you have to sign a prenup. And I, I, was, I looked at him before I started comedy, before I had social media, and I go, that's funny. You're going to be the one having to sign a prenup. And he's like, what? And I'm like, yeah, you have money now, but I will have way more than that <laughs> later on. And... <laughs> Don't worry, I'll take care of you, babe. <laughs> like, and he was like, Got what you do you back, mean? And I was boo. like, yeah, we'll both sign prenups. Is that okay? And then he started being like, well, and I'm like. Ah, you hit him with the reverse Uno card. I had no money back ah. then. I don't know who I was talking about. He had like a Ferrari and six houses. and No, but I mean. That was also daddy's money. Yeah, exactly. That's so. true. Wasn't his. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> I really want to like talk That's how only you on. in a British what? accent in Austin. <laughs> what if I just came in with a whole different accent? Just a whole different person. <laughs> we just create our different person. whole personalities. Yep. Yep. We know I used people to go out to bars and do that shit. <laughs> they so don't know much the fun. Realist. Me too. It's I'd be like, so oh, much fun. You like? they're like, you're not from London. I'm like, you want to see my passport? And then <laughs> <laughs> people from London were like, dude, where are you from? <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know what I was saying. All right. <laughs> All right, not Good hypothetical. Try. You can decide the lifespan of any two people. Who are they and how long do you let them live for? Both of you. Two people. Me and you. Forever, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> we're locked in for life, dog. You're my boy. You're my boy, Blue. We're, do- we're going out of this together. You guys are going to live forever anyways. That's funny. <laughs> I hope not. A- of course. Dude, I hope it ends. You're on the internet. The internet's forever, bitch. I got a good 30 years in me. <laughs> you know what? I don't know. When I'm 80 and I'm a famous actress because I got famous when I was old, they'll look back and they'll be like, look how hot she was when she was younger. Exactly. And I'm going to so be true. like, thank God that's what y'all remember me as instead of the old hag I'm turning into. Exactly. That's what Facts. I aspire to be. Too. My tits aren't going to look like this forever. Absolutely mm-hmm. not. They're on their way out. No, <laughs> mine are already gone. This is all bra. This is this is all bra. <laughs> My tits are like down here, really, in real life. Yeah, I I thought I had a short torso. Turns no. out I just have saggy tits. <laughs> I, have, I have too much boob. There's too much boob. It happens. It happens. All right, who would you keep alive and for how long? Two keep people alive and for how long? Two people. It's a hard fucking question. Or is it? Any I would people. say one of them definitely has to be Snoop Dogg. Okay. Because I feel like he provides a service to the world that needs to live <laughs> that forever. Else can provide. <laughs> I swear to God, like I saw somebody that post. man is the best human being to ever be human being. I <laughs> love him and Martha Stewart's friendship. I love exactly. Them. My fa- them too. That's pretty. Yeah. I'm, I'm, not even, I'm not even saving myself. Martha Stewart and Snoop Dogg for life. <laughs> Martha Stewart and Snoop Dogg. They're my forever. boys. 2024. That's who I'm writing on my ballot. <laughs> Dude, if that's president and vice president, I'm What? In. I'm who do you so think would, who would you rather they, be president out of the two of them? Snoop, Snoop Dogg. Snoop. All day. That was easy. And she's the, yeah, she's he the has VP the best. because she is fraud in her yes. background. He's great at foreign affairs. And then like, you know. He's great at everything. And he's great at rallying the people. Yep. Exactly. You know. All right, he's Snoop our Dogg, Olympic mascot already. We might as well. So Snoop Dogg and Martha Stewart, 2024. Okay. No, I would right. pick them to live forever, yeah. Yeah. I next like next hypothetical. Five million dollars. But you can never look directly into the sun ever again. Oh, give me the five mil, yeah, for sure. <laughs> you, if it's in my perif, like if it's right here and I'm looking right here. You're good. Oh. You can't just like pull a Donald Trump and like stare into the sun. <laughs> 
<laughs> Mr. President. Okay. Yes. Final hypothetical. <laughs> You are a genius in any musical instrument you want, but nobody will ever understand how good you are. What <laughs> instrument do you choose? Those recorders that they so gave you in elementary you. school. The recorder. <laughs> <laughs> for real, man. I used to do a sick Mary had a little lamb on them shits. I love them. You Dude, know I what? rocked down the, the or talent like show. Or like something random, like I'm the triangle. I'm doing a didgeridoo. <laughs> A didgeridoo. <laughs> I'm over here like, and I got the one. little fucking puppets in the front moving, That's and no one understands one. how hard I worked to get there. <laughs> Wait, what puppets? They had a guy in, in University of Vermont who plays the <laughs> 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 who plays the didgeridoo with a bunch. He's of, gonna see this shit and be like, "That's me." He has like four That's cat <laughs> puppets because he plays like two didgeridoos, and then the cat puppets jump and they and go he with does the music. It at the same time, <laughs> and it's like. <laughs> dude that guy needs to go on agt and no one will ever understand man. how good he is he's he's the epitome oh. of that hypothetical <laughs> that's his life that's not a hypothetical yeah, he, he, did, real life. he was out on church street every day man every morning every afternoon did that's you ever meet the chicken man dope. in boston the what man? Have you <laughs> the chicken man? Have you met the, the chicken man? man? There's no, a not chicken the muffin man, man in Boston, <laughs> but I do know the but muffin the, man. <laughs> so it's the chicken man. The chicken man, not the muffin man. <laughs> yes, he was on Dudley Ave. <laughs> Dudley Ave in Boston, and he would just go out when the red light was on, and he had like a a, a hostage audience, and he would just do the chicken dance <laughs> in front of like a street of people. Like the it would go green, and he would leave. That would he would he be in a chicken hostage sometimes? Sometimes he was, dude. Oh, we gotta give sure it to he our wasn't local like a homeless. Chick Fil A op or something like out there, like hunting cows, like you know. Dude, I lost him. I didn't see him for five years, oh, and then I man. saw him again. I I thought he was dead, but he lives. <laughs> <laughs> the chicken man lives. Jesus lives in him. Okay. Maybe we should make him live forever too with Snoop and Martha. Maybe the we should do a man. podcast with him. I thought, you were saying, I thought you were saying Jesus, and I was like, Jesus already lives forever. No, he the lives chicken forever man. in my heart. <laughs> the chicken man. Oh. Not the muffin man, the chicken man. The chicken, the chicken man. man. <laughs> Who lives on Dudley Lane? <laughs> Who lives on Dudley Lane? You're in a relationship with somebody. Do yes. you think it's appropriate for you or them Boy. to have a gift that you've got from your ex? Yeah. Like, say your ex got you a necklace and you're wearing the necklace while you're dating uh, someone else. Or his ex got him a piece of artwork that he puts on his side table that uh, before where you guys go to sleep. What Do you if know my what I'm ex saying? gets me a cat, though? Like, I'm not going to give up my cat yeah, just because my like, ex got like it for pet? me. Well, well, that's different. You're in, you're locked in. I'm locked in for life. Yeah. Yeah uh i don't Does know i mean, think it depends on what the gift is yeah like if it's a child do you have to pay child <laughs> yeah support? like can i give my kid back to somebody is someone gonna adopt her no i i i wonder if that's I what my real dad said, <laughs> said i'm that. giving this gift back you got the receipt still He's like, i do i kept the mom. receipt for her can i, can <laughs> I give, give her birth certificate <laughs> that's Dude, exactly receipt. exactly one of a kind. Oh, my my real title. dad, I guess, technically did give my the receipt to my stepdad. <laughs> he passed the buck. Because my he stepdad, did. for some reason's name is on my birth certificate. Make it make sense. Listen, he's not your stepdad. Lord. He's the dad that stepped up. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> you right. I wonder what gang he was a part of in prison. I hope a good um, one. It wouldn't be the white supremacist because he looks, he's tan, and he's a Jew. So hmm. they're Nazis. <laughs> Maybe he just did everybody's like commissary accounting. He's Jewish, like weren't? Oh, oh. yeah, he's really good at math. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Maybe he was just like the the accountant, the accounting. But like, he's also the guy. funny guy. I'd be like if Ray went to prison. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine Ray. Getting that was my dad. Okay, next one. Next. Okay, so gift. I I feel like that should be a real question. Okay. okay, so I think if your ex gives you a gift, one, they shouldn't be able to take it back. And two, it kind of depends on what the gift is, mm -hmm. whether you should still be using it. Like, I feel like yeah. if it's like a computer, sure. If it's sentimental value, that like makes it harder. Like a necklace. I don't wear any of the necklaces my exes gave me. Yeah, but I did for a while because I didn't, I couldn't afford real jewelry. So like the couple of nice things that my exes got me were the only real pieces of jewelry that I had. That like you kept. 
I mean, yeah. I mean, I think it depends on the person. I feel like guys do that shit all the time. Like and they, they accuse yeah. us of it like so much. But guys keep all the clothes their ex gave them. They keep all like, the dude, clothes, I've, watches, every ex, everything. Dude. Ha- every like, ex has had an art. Uh, every, every one of my exes has had an ex that's been into art. And so I've had to like see their art all over the house. That's and it's just, I'm terrible. like, okay, there's one in the bathroom, there's one in the living room. I'm like, I'm going to have to start see, getting like into that, art. I feel like well, that's that just shows inappropriate. We shouldn't be sucking men's dick. We should be making them artwork. Yeah. Hey, and then pick we're up with a paintbrush, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Paintings last forever. <laughs> Blowjobs are just for the night, ladies. That's true. Put it on a t-shirt. <sighs> there's Art there's is so, forever. There's so many better things you can give a man. <laughs> the men are like, no, give us blowjobs. <laughs> no, suck my dick, please. <laughs> Do you have so a blowjob tip? Do I have a blowjob tip? Um, literally what my bit says, just suck as much dick as you can while you're young. <laughs> get it all in just do it as much as you fucking can i didn't say a lot of amounts of dicks i didn't say a lot of numbers Stick with one but just do it as frequently as you can yes what advice do you give your daughter for dating because growing up my dad used to give me the advice of play the field <sighs> date everybody and then settle down later he was like don't settle down while you're young so right now it's different because my daughter's in high school so like i'm That's definitely was. letting her no, but like in high school, yeah, like I do tell her like, listen, you know, life is like this, you know, life is definitely you're not going to end up with like your high school sweetheart. Like, you know, what's fucked up. My daughter's an asshole. I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> so this is why I say literally like sh- I'm copy and she's paste because she broke up with her high school boyfriend. OK, we're talking about another 15 year old. OK. <laughs> Because he was like getting bad grades and like you were good for her. Like and like he was too fucking clingy. Like he would call her and be like, Oh, we're gonna be together forever and have kids. And she's like, No, we're not, dude. Get away from me. That's not gonna happen. Like, I don't know what you're talking about. (laughs) Like, you know, so I'm fortunate enough that like she literally has that mindset. She's always had like that idea in her head but like she's very much living her like high school like sweetheart like oh like you know which i think is cute too i think girls deserve that before they get out into the shitty world i'm so grateful for having a relationship in high school yeah because if i have never been in a relationship and i entered the dating market now it's terrible. Bro, I would you'd get flipped upside down. Thank God someone was romantic and young love that we weren't hurt. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like I love that for like her. I was somebody's person that like you then. know when they, I'm not now. Like, you know, like no the, one wants me now. Like the girlfriends now, then. I'm that person for them that like probably. I'm so I don't know. sorry. I never had a good high school relationship. <laughs> I mean, I did it either, good. which is why I want that for her so bad. Because it's true. Because then you enter like the dating ma- market. Like my parents were super fucking strict, so I wasn't allowed to have a boyfriend. Like but all through fucking one. high school, I did. Like my senior year, you know. But it was like the worst boyfriend. Like the worst yeah, because boyfriend. Yeah, you're restricted. Exactly. You, pick, you make bad I'm choices. I'm like, oh yes, everything they hate, give yep. it to me. Like you know. So that it's true. Like you can't like be like don't do it like two helicopter i'm just gonna be like when you start dating let's chat about it because i can teach you some things to look out for and just want you to make the best decision baby no i mean it's crazy because i never feel like i even had that conversation with her she just like on her own like i guess she's seen me go through it so she's like yeah no fuck that do you know what conversation (laughs) i would you know whatever conversation i have with my mom what happened? I'd bring boys over to the house and we'd be sitting outside in the backyard, like by the fire or something. And they'd be like senior boys <laughs> when I was a freshman. <laughs> and my mom would come out like a couple beers deep. And she'd be like, which one of you is fucking my daughter? <laughs> and I'm like, and they'd be like, not me, Miss Kelly, not me. Everyone knew because like they're like, Miss Kelly, no, we're just all friends. Like we respect your daughter. <laughs> They're like, if you try to fuck my daughter, like, and she's yelling. She's like, I'll come there. I'll cut your head off. I'll skull fuck you. And then I'll shit down your neck. You understand? And, I, and they're all like, no, Kelly, please don't skull fuck Swear me. Swear to God, I'm not going to do it. And I'm looking back and I'm like, you probably shouldn't have threatened high school kids. 
<laughs> with Threaten skulls skull fucking them. <laughs> could you imagine? She could never my do mom, that now. My mom traumatized you know, more never. than me. My mom traumatized the community. <laughs> At least she got everybody. Like she was an equal opportunity offender. Exactly. <laughs> See, <laughs> I believe in that shit. Need, that's like the reality check of the whole entire neighborhood. Yeah, like, her, not just your household. Her nickname, like you could ask anybody, even a member, like younger grades, older grades. You'd be like, "Oh, who's that? Uh, what's that? Jamie's mom's name or Tyler or David?" And they'd be like, "Oh, Crazy Kelly." <laughs> Crazy Kelly. <laughs> that's funny. They probably all spelled it with two K's too. <laughs> crazy kelly <laughs> <laughs> what's the third k because that's the level of the person no my mom is no way Dude. no third k <laughs> it's not a good human being <laughs> that's wild that's so <laughs> wild my dad used to chase boys out of my house with a sword i like that with a sword oh yeah of course like, you have the duel that's for me. my daughter <laughs> I'm like taking notes, like mental notes. I'm gonna go buy Don't a fucking katana on. sword. No, we, we grew up. We didn't grow and up and do well. my hair like just like this and dress up like fucking Chung Lee and just. Or he'd be in his bath. To, his I distinctly remember being him being in his bathrobe and his dick was like practically flopping out. And I'd have like friends. It over was like the rope of like, the rope and his dick. One under, leg like. was out. I'm like, Dad, can you please go get dressed? <laughs> Cover up, dude. Oh, dude. terrible. My mom would always wear a robe with nothing underneath. Yep. Oh, oh terrible. terrible. Like, I don't want to see that. Yeah, <laughs> you think no. it's like a pocket? And I'm like, that's her tit. Never mind. You know what's crazy? I do that shit. And my kid is like, like, it's so normal to her. That's so weird. It's hard because I want my kids to be open with, like, their bodies. And, like, I don't know. I don't like want them to be ashamed of I had, being I, nude. I held, I had held so much shame. But I also don't want to be the naked parent that traumatizes them like my mom did. So it's yeah. hard. No, I'm not being the naked parent. I don't know. I mean, I feel like there's a place and time for everything. But you're going to see when you have kids, there's no like, you know, you can't have boundaries. Yeah, they know like, when you if fart your kids, and shit Like if you have a good relationship with your kid, your kids are always so far stuck up your ass like it's incredible like <laughs> i don't know what that's like it's so it's terrible because like i feel like it's the when your kid wants to, to go to out. summer camp they're like can you send me to another one when this one ends please <laughs> like i'm not done here i need six more months Mom. yeah like, like boarding school sign me up yeah for real I would have gone to boarding school when I was. I would have loved to go to boarding school. I would have too. But I grew up around so many people who were afraid to leave their parents for a weekend. I always viewed them as weak. No, hell no. I was like, please get me out. Yeah, I would love to leave. For me, it was a complete opposite. I would have done anything to have a sleepover. Like, and my parents didn't let me do shit. It was terrible. It was so terrible. It was like I wasn't able to do shit either, but I could leave to like my best friend's house or something. Same. So I I drowned myself in school shit that was like all good stuff, just so, so I that never you could go outside. Home. Yeah, I'd go to school early or like then I'd do. That's kind of what I would do too. If I wasn't doing soccer or an away game, I was working or I was at my best friend's house till midnight studying and finishing homework, and then I'd yeah. go home and hopefully my mom was passed out. And you'd be like, all right. Yeah, sneak in. Yeah, I kind of did the same thing. I would say, <sighs> childhood. I would have given fun. anything to fucking go away. Hell, fuck yeah, man! I couldn't even sleep over at my cousin's house and shit because uno nunca sabe. Like I was really? like, oh, because you never know. You don't know. The fuck do you mean you don't know? Like no, you don't know these people. No, that means that she like, does know. That means she does worried. know. And she's like, uh, <laughs> she's like, I don't trust Uncle Jimmy. <laughs> exactly. You know. But I feel like that's just like a saying in every freaking hispanic household like for you never real know. like every uno my nunca mom's sale. saying was you can't go to their house because their can't. brother or dad will rape you and i would be yeah. like what i'm seven what no well that that's mean? the equivalent and my mom <laughs> like, was, she was so direct and she was like these men will try to touch you in your private parts and you can't go and i'm like i just want to hang out with my friend you're like what the fuck bro we were just playing and i, I don't want to finish the more game cautious about that because i did get molested i'm like you should have done more really yeah what happens when I you mean, get molested and your parents are cautious yeah right <laughs> i'm like did then you what? know this whole time like if you, you were the know. naked mom were you grooming me <laughs> for this to happen it's kind of crazy when you it look is kind of crazy like, huh maybe it was a little more fucked up than i huh. thought 
it's true that's true i mean and, and it happens listen but that's true like if something happens too and like you're the cautious parent i would be feeling so guilty i would be so guilty i would be so guilty because i would be like fuck like i didn't even let my kid live a life and it still fucking happened like you know I feel like sometimes you can't avoid those things. Yeah, you can. I mean, you can, but sometimes you can't. But is that the risk of other things? Exactly. I don't know. I I remember I got sexually assaulted on the beach right across the street from our house. And I'd go home and I wouldn't tell my dad anything, but I was crying. And he just had to let me sit in it because he knew nothing good would come of pushing me. And then eventually I came out and he supported me along like the way of like the trial. So I, I don't know. You... You got to let your kids make their own mistakes, even it, if it results in hurt for them. I mean, I'm a huge believer in that. But in the same token, like I said, like, I feel like I'm really big on like one thing I've always been with my kid is like super fucking honest, like brutally honest. Like there's been shit that like normal people would be like, no, you can't tell her that. But I've always like even when she was a baby, I'd be like, don't baby talk to her, like talk to That's her like a person, like, yeah. you know her entire life you know so i feel like it's opened up her perspective too to like been able to just watch the mistakes that i've made too and Mm -hmm. been like no i don't even want to do that (laughs) like i'm good like you know but in the same token she's been able to see like the good aspects of things too and been like i want to like have like the cookie cutter lifestyle where i don't have to do shit like i want a man to come and pay all my bills like my kid is smart as shit you know, so I need a provider. I th- I like didn't like stuff my mom did. I've talked about this on the podcast before, so I'll keep it brief. But one time I came home and my mom had every single one of her guys. There was like four guys in the yard and they were all doing different jobs, redoing our entire backyard, laying brick, painting, laying like she had a whole crew, a whole crew of dudes <laughs> that she was That's like kind of dating man. or they wanted to date her. And I was like, mom, and she goes, I didn't pay for any of this. She goes, what Jamie Lee? Like she like has this like char- <laughs> she turns on a character of her being like I'm dainty and feminine. She's like, I don't know what you're talking about. They just want to take care of me. <laughs> and I was like, Mom, you can't. What, what? Now I'm like, you get it now. I'm yeah, like, right? You I'm getting six get hinge it. dudes I when I moved to Austin. I'm bringing them all there. And I'm like, yes. the best one win. Absolutely. I'm Fuck like, that. oh no, you didn't bolt these tight enough. Like you nicked, you put a scratch over there. Yep. You're out of the run. Sorry. Bro. Yeah, you got to do better. I want to see your building skills right from the jump. It's yeah. true. Just buy anything from Ikea and take away the instructions. <laughs> and make it like a torture, challenge. Bro. Make it like a challenge. That like be like, here the Geneva parts. Code. <laughs> I, I put a bunch of hinge tapes in a, in a closed <laughs> off white room with nothing but the hardest thing to build in Ikea and no instructions. A hammer. A hammer. <laughs> That's an escape room movie. Ikea. That's a reality. reality wrench. That's a reality TV show. An escape room reality TV show with fuck boys. Build the mm-hmm. table. <laughs> it's, like, it's like one of the Bachelor at challenges they have to do husband duties yes i like that but they're really difficult really difficult like you give them all the wrong fucking like tools. they have to call the insurance company and no, no, get no. you a deduction on your bill no one challenge like is that laundry. like you have to negotiate have to something it. over the phone you don't know if it's a car if it's something. what it is but you have to negotiate something over the phone lower my electricity That's bill one exactly Give me a higher credit limit without changing my income. <laughs> Figure it out. Do something. No hard pulls. Exactly. So that, they have to build something, right? And then I feel like they have to, like, change diapers. You give them one of those no. fake babies. Like, be able to, like, do laundry correctly. Like, without, like, bleaching anything or, like, fucking anything up. Or they up. have to clean your house. You have to see how they handle They have to clean house, a bathroom clean. toilet. Yes. How do you clean a, a bathroom, bathroom toilet? Just a bathroom. Just a, a simple bathroom. Do you get under the bottom? Bathroom. Do you get in the curves? Exactly. In the crevices? Simple bathroom. Like the shower and everything too. Simple bathroom. Build something and you have to negotiate something over the phone. HGTV. That's how you earn my love. 2024. That's what we're doing. We'll call them husband duties. Huh? Look, nobody's going to steal our shit. This is a great shit. dating show. And they're going to be exactly. like, without a ring? No. Mm-mm. They have to get the ring from out of the toilet. They clean. It's like at the behind the bowl. They got to get and a they snake only out. They find the ring if they clean the right mm-hmm, spot. Mm-hmm. <coughs> or you make it like the final challenge. Like, okay, you clean the toilet. Now it's stuffed up. Do now you have be to a get plumber. It swirly in the be toilet. a plumber. How clean was it? Exactly. Really? And make it like a trick, like expedition. 
because there's like no solving it. They have to call the plumber. That's the solution. Like, they have to know when to give up. It. That's the final. Wait, it would be so <laughs> funny if it was like those um, social experiments that you see on TikTok where like a, somebody tries to talk to a kid on the bench and they see if somebody intervenes, but it's like with men. So it's like you're at a bar on a date and then all of a somebody, so, sudden a guy grabs your purse and r- starts running. Like, what does the guy do? And it's all just it's yes. only happening to test the men. Yes. Like secret little things like that. That'd be I would love to do that. Really funny. I was supposed to you guys should do that in Austin we on should. each other's first dates. <laughs> Wait, that, just record it. That'd be so like and one just of us record it. One of us have different with the scenarios. Other. <laughs> and it's all comedians <laughs> fucking with us on dates with the locals. That would be so good. That would be dope. That's so good. That would be dope. That would <laughs> They're be like, dope. why is there a full blown camera crew? And I'm yeah, like, I heard Glenn Powell's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in the back. <laughs> Don't pay attention to them. Don't mind them. This tuna Should tartar. We? <laughs> <laughs> Should we uh, do Stony Baloney? Yeah. <laughs> we should talk about we should t- okay what's the worst what's the funniest mean comment that you've received i'm gonna look it up because i oh, just you have had it on that, i just had that clip that went crazy i think i took a screenshot of it we got some good roasts before i just forget them i just can't get over fat ass sweating that one. <laughs> what was it it was i had like a, a shirt on that like showed my pit stains and i got really sweaty because the lights were on me and then some dude comments, he goes, fat ass sweating. <laughs> <laughs> and we we would just go around, we'd look at each other and we'd go, fat ass sweating. <laughs> it was so funny, but it's so mean. It's so good, though. <laughs> oh, my God. Mine, and mine is now my Twitter header, and it, I can never change my Twitter header because I lost that photo. So like, I can never get that screenshot again. But it says, you look like you can make your ass clap, but not an audience. That's rough. Ooh, and I was like, clap. "It's like you look like you can make your ass clap, but not an audience." And <laughs> I was like, "That's so good." So I made it my Twitter header. Somebody wrote, "Wait, hold on." Retweet if you like big booty no, bitches. This isn't it. No, retweet. No, retweet. Yeah, right. retweet. <laughs> retweet if you like big titty bitches. Retweet. retweet. <laughs> Fuck, I can't find it. Retweet, Retweet it if you like women shaped like Wendy Williams. <laughs> the letter P. Hey. Retweet. <laughs> <laughs> Please, somebody retweet. <laughs> I was, Where I, are my boob men at? <laughs> oh, if you're out there, I love you. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> Damn. Retweet if you struggle with your mental health on a daily basis. Retweet. Retweet. <laughs> Uh, retweet if you have texture issues. <laughs> <laughs> retweet. What kind? Mouth. <laughs> have you ever fantasized about someone in this room? No. No. Retweet. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Not even once? <laughs> <laughs> Is Jamie going to say yes? <laughs> well, I'm just, I mean, like, I'm pretty... I'm pretty Flexible. cute. <laughs> you why wouldn't? Does, why does nobody famous about me? No one would? Okay. I'm sure someone would. Jamie. Y'all retweeted that so quickly. And just... We detweeted it. <laughs> I got to book a therapy appointment. <laughs> Same. Have you ever had sex with three different people within a week? Retweet. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, did I? Uh... I don't think I have, no. I have Does a threesome count? Yeah. And then another one? (laughs) (laughs) Retweet. They were the same people. (sighs) What do you mean? How could it be the same people? It has to be three or more in a week. One person was the same. Oh, one person was the same in both of them. Yeah. But but honestly, we just made out. So, like, does it count? No. If they just kind of, like, watch me? Does that really count? I don't know if that really counts. That might not count. Honestly, That's a technicality. Coke right Dick there. saved me from a threesome I would have regretted then. Shout out. And Coke I just Dick. got to experience my bisexuality. Shout out to uh Shout out Coke Dick. Coke Dick. <laughs> Shout out Coke Dick. Very Did you hear topic. that Ice Spice everybody thinks that she has like a a dirty a fetish for poop? Yeah. What's she wrong with her poop, poops? That she has a poop fetish. Everybody she saying like on scat? the internet. Yeah, she's like a she scat. likes to be pooped on or yeah, pooped she's in. She's like, I don't she know. goes, "You think you the shit? Bitch. You're not even the fart." And then there's one yeah. where she's like, Mrs. Poopy." 
Yeah, I'm his little poopy or some (laughs) shit. Don't get your news from us. (laughs) We're we're in the clouds right now, but. Would you accept $500,000, but every Saturday you have to work as a clown at kids' birthday party? <laughs> <laughs> How much? Hell yeah. 500000 Hell yeah. Dude, I would do that for free. I would do it. $500,000 no. a year? Yeah. To just be every Saturday a clown? Every Saturday. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I'm going to be the and goddamn be the best clown, clown ever. No, I would be the worst. I would traumatize them on That's purpose. That's what I was thinking. I was like, how can I? Because I'm scared of clowns. I so would how do traumatize I get the next them on purpose. Scared? Hell yeah. <laughs> That's fucked up. Hell yeah. I'm with it. <laughs> Dude, it's like I already have the costume. It's from my ex. <laughs> The rest of the week, you just started haunting the town prior (laughs) that you have the kid's birthday party. There's just, like, sightings of a scary clown. And they're like, is that the clown? And that clown shows up at the kid's birthday party. There's hidden cameras. You just hang out in the bushes in front of his house for a week before. (laughs) Like, just. (laughs) I feel like if you're rich enough, you could buy happiness. To a certain degree. You know how much two golden retrievers cost? I, that's buying happiness right there exactly and being able to afford their vet bills listen i've always said i know i've made it when two things happen when one i get asked to sign my first nda and two when i can afford a pair of llamas yo well you know we have an nda for you to sign actually <laughs> oh, i literally go i thought like when you came over and you helped also dina was amazing came over and helped me sort a bunch of stuff when i was stressing but i thought about it and i was like i literally go to emily and go do we have any ndas <laughs> <laughs> i go i gotta get dina to sign an nda i was like she's gonna be going through everything have you ever stayed in a relationship just for the sex yes so guilty would you rather be with someone smart or someone like extremely fucking handsome, like your perfect type type. Smart. Smart? Smart. I've, I've Are they dumb in all categories? Like they could be dumb in a lot of ways, but they're really good at one thing. But what if that like, one yeah, thing like, is yo-yo? Like, smart? What's smart? <laughs> like he's really hot, he's really dumb, but he's great at yo-yo. Oh no. I... Well, I'm like, I just need to, they need to be smart enough to be like a provider. I'm a woman now. I'm in my 30s. I want to be taken care of. I want flowers Uh, daily. You know what's crazy? I've always said like, I want someone to like send me flowers to my job. And now I work from home. So like, what the fuck? (laughs) Bro, those, those flowers I got died you saw that right i told you that's bad juju yep can you tell the bad audience so juju. guys okay, rem- so when someone gives you flowers right? yeah number one i've always said like the color of the flower is really important too like, like using every color, color language for yeah the flowers yeah for sure is super important and like the type of flower that it is all that stuff matters i like when people choose personalized flowers that send a message because there's a, the language of flowers there is and i love when people use that i feel like it's really really important so I'm um those flowers that jamie got sent i saw them and they were like halfway dead already and i was like jamie <laughs> like <laughs> flowers pick up the energy of like the person that sends them to you so if they die right away that person is like it wasn't like sent with like the best intention you know they never were alive exactly they were literally it was never alive the moment i got them they were dead that's and it just got worse that's a bad sign and you said that to me and i we have not hung out or talked since this is great because this puts you in the perfect place where now you can go to Austin and you can start like, bro. Can we talk about no Austin hopes. Hinge? Because I just got on there. That's what I'm I was banned tell from you. Hinge. Wait, so I, <laughs> I'm on Austin. How did Bumble. that happen? How did you get? They just thought it was a bot. Him. She's so, so they hot. They were like, they were she's like, done. No, she's too hot. Dude, I'm too hot for Hinge. So I got <laughs> banned. And I'm banned from Plenty of Fish. I'm banned from literally all of the Why are you on Plenty of Fish? I'm not, but they're all owned by the same parent company. So oh. all of the subsidiaries, oh, wow. you're banned from all That's of them crazy. too. That I'm banned sucks. from Christian Mingle. <laughs> 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 Farmers only. Like, oh. I can't get anything. Damn, so just Bumble? Just Bumble. <laughs> Your punishment is you have to message every man first now. <laughs> <That's> like <so laughs> They're like, oh, you're trying to scam us and drive more traffic to your spicy site? 
figure now? it out now. I'm like, I'm trying to get podcast subscribers. You have to engage now. That's crazy. No, I don't. When they listen to my podcast, I'm scared. I don't want them to listen I'm to the like, podcast. I'm literally like, please don't. I'm ready to lie about my job. I think you should do it. <laughs> what do you do? I'm an I accountant. I would do it. I would do it. I would do it. Why not, bro? Um, I don't even like lie? telling guys. Yes. I, I think like we should fake guys that I'm a comedian. entirely new identities. Absolutely. No one knows we're comedians. What if I say no I'm a one. chess master? <laughs> 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 like, I'm internationally for now. <laughs> they like, yeah, look like, up like, every like guy you? that asks you, you could tell them something different. Like, the I next one, you could be, I'm a Somalier. Fake make fake articles. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, we'll get you on, like, Miami Celebrity. We'll get you on all the most fake promos. I have to pay thousands of dollars for this. I'm like, it's worth it. Trump is funny. I'm a comedian. <laughs> I have to talk he about Trump. He is funny. He's great material. Like, come on, he man. He was on The Simpsons for a reason. Like, I love that. Can we talk about how The Simpsons can tell the future? Like, Yo. that's scary, bro. What's coming up next on The Simpsons? Yeah, right. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop watching the news is and the just Simpsons watch The playing? Simpsons. Yes, oh. every week. Oh, I he- think. <laughs> Here's a serious one. Okay. Are both of your parents alive? Yeah. Okay. You can't relate then, I don't think. But. I can't either. Well, one's dead to you. <laughs> <laughs> You're almost there. You got one foot in, one foot out. Yeah. You come to some parties, not all of them, but. No, I'm like 50%. But you hang. I all got right, custody right, on the weekend. Right. Okay. Hey, y'all. This probably isn't the typical voicemail that you would be expecting to get for the pod, but I just kind of need some advice. I'm 22 years old. Um,. My mother passed away when I was 19. It'll be three years, December 28th. Um, I know neither one of you guys really have your mother in your life. So I'm just kind of curious to see if you guys have any advice on navigating through your 20s without your mother or a womanly figure to look up to. Literally any advice would help. I'm kind of spiraling right now. Um, But thanks. I love the pod and I hope I get some advice on maybe next week's episode. Oh, she's 22. Wait. She's a baby. Uh, we love you. Uh, also, so like beautiful that you were able to reach out yeah. and like know that you need help or you need advice. That's a beautiful thing, asking for help. So it I'm really proud is. of you. Yeah, because I don't think we asked for help. <laughs> um, Enough. No, we ever. actually spiraled many times. And it is hard as an adult because you're always like, I want my mom there for certain moments that you don't have. Me and my sister constantly cry about it. And uh, it that part hasn't gotten easier, but our self-growth personally has made it us be able to deal with it easier. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Like the feelings always stay pretty strong. And you're like, I just want my you mom. You just know how to manage them. But you just know how <laughs> yeah. to like in the rest of your <laughs> life, like, um, you know. I will say it gets easier, though. I'm coming up on, how old am I? 26, like 15 years without my mom. And it gets much easier. You still have those moments where like for holidays, like you dream about having like a mother there, but I don't think about it as much. And I don't know if you loved your mom, so that might make it harder, but maybe it will allow you to remember the love that you had with her and you can view it as a beautiful thing that you got to experience that even though unfortunately your time together was cut short like you got to have that mom and you can think about her and emulate her when you become a mother or you have like a partner you can be sort of who you need who you had I don't know that's really hard yeah Yeah. I think too like it made me hyper independent so i had to figure out a lot of life on my own and so and i hated that i like victimized myself in that in a lot of moments but i think now looking back years later of like being pretty much no contact for a long time um you have to learn to give yourself like gratitude because that also this moment will shape who you are in like a positive way if you let it that's true you know i think like i'm pretty badass now if i had my parents i probably wouldn't be yeah i mean no i mean if you're a badass you are always gonna be a badass no matter what that's why like it has to cause the badass right yeah like batman exactly exactly it's true it becomes your name but but you're batman you're yeah. Batman now. You get yeah. to be fucking badass because Bruce you went Wayne. through pain. That's true. Not to trivialize your pain. 
I think no. don't be afraid to ask for help. Like, ask your friend's parents, for qu- like, questions. questions. Yeah. Like, utilize it, you know? And if they don't like it, then they're probably, they probably don't know the answer and they're embarrassed. <laughs> or they are not good people. And you yeah. shouldn't rely on them. Because that's something when, when you don't have, like, family like that. I think, like, knowing yeah, like, who's your find, good- like, good mentors. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, I think if you found, like, a good group of, like, maybe your best friend's mom or mm-hmm. like something like that like i always used to get adopted that, by that people's families good. and like yeah. they would take me in be like oh that's why breakups yeah. were so hard for me because i wasn't breaking up with them yeah I was definitely breaking up with their family. you know what i would say my perspective from it would be like i feel like if your mom could give you advice because i am a mom i think like that's one thing i would definitely want my kid to know like, don't, like, if I'm not around, like, don't look for that, like, in a man. Mm-hmm. Or, like, don't look for, like, you know. Oh, that's hard one. Yeah. I don't, I have, feel like I don't have either my parents, so I, like, 20s. I want my man to be both of them. I feel mm-hmm. like that's good advice in your 20s, just all the way across the board. Don't let your like, problems like, become the man you're yeah. dating. Don't yeah, because when, we, when become we. The man that you're dating. Absolutely. Yeah. When we're no longer getting that love from somebody that we should as children yeah. get that we love. We try from. to like fill it with something else. We try to fill it with something else. Your boyfriend or mm-hmm. you're like the person that you're dating or yeah. whatever. So like just don't do that, I would say in twenty. At yeah, twenty. Pour your free time into and things 20 that make like you feel super happy. Young. Yeah, mm-hmm. like do things like that, like invest in yourself. I would say yes. Like, yeah. as a do mom. stuff that would like, make do you stuff, happy. Yeah, like that makes you happy. Or like that I wish I would have done more things when I was younger instead of like investing my time in like a relationship per se. And my just money. Just because, like, what? Could you imagine if I was like a comedian when I was like twenty five? We'd be oh, fucking if, rich right dude, now. What if you I learned know. how to do pottery <laughs> and you were a huh? great pottery artist? Why did you turn this into like fucking ghost and shit? Like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Um, I think too, like, yo, none of us know what we're doing. It's okay to not yeah, know what we're doing. Oh, fuck yeah. Have fun. Enjoy yourself. Especially in your 20s. Yeah. And time for and you to And utilize have a good time. resources. Yeah. Friends their parents Mm -hmm. like ask questions like met like i don't know teachers or people at work i've i've got really close to like i remember my boss was like a like a football coach to me Mm -hmm. like would teach me life lessons because i didn't have those people and he's like hey and it was great those people changed my life in so many good ways yeah so find those people uh because they can help a lot. And you yeah. know what's so sweet when you have those people and then you can call them like five, ten years later and be like, hey, just wanted to thank you. This is what I'm doing now. Like, yeah. yep. And they get to see like, to how see they the impacted you. Mm-hmm. I texted my old therapist who I was with in like the most tumultuous parts of my adult life so far. And I was like, hey, I just wanted to let you know how much I appreciated everything you did for me and like the way you went out of your way to help me out. And she called me and she was like, that was so sweet. And thank you so much. And I missed hearing your voice. And I was like, I love you. (laughs) (laughs) I miss you so much. Are you licensed in Texas? You immediately (laughs) turned into stepbrothers. You're like, I love you. (laughs) I love you. I'm like, you're the mom I never had. (laughs) So don't try to fill that mom hole because that will also break your heart. No, I think it's also beautiful if you do want to be a mother too. Like you have the opportunity to... I don't know, be what maybe you did you didn't have some in some moments, you know? Yeah. Like but there's plenty of time have. for that. Don't rush into that either. Yeah, don't rush into that. Yeah. <laughs> don't rush into anything right now. That's another thing too that I, I wish I would have known like in my twenties. Like, know that nothing is permanent. Yeah. Like nothing. Like there's no way that I would have thought that I'd be who I am today at 25 like nothing this is so far what my life would be from what i had and i'm only 26 and i feel that way (laughs) bro it gets worse well they're not worse but (laughs) it gets better it gets better like it becomes even more of like a change like yeah so weird if you allow it yeah if you change change is good yeah sometimes we want to resist it because we want to control the outcome because we have bad things happen to us like this yeah whatever but But i guess last piece of advice i would also say go to therapy 
I think finding a good therapist who can work with you through your grief will allow you to process it and heal from it where I didn't do that. And I regret not doing that when I lost my mom. (laughs) She's alive. (laughs) (laughs) The gag is. (laughs) I lost her to the fire nation. Never heard from her again. (laughs) Well, you technically lost. You guys have been no contact for a long time. Like she's lost. I don't know where you she is. You don't know where she is. I called her on the podcast one day and she didn't answer. <laughs> Yet another rejection from my mother. Boom. Uh, honestly, uh, forever. honestly, you know how you navigate it? Humor. Yes. Yeah. You really laugh. Laugh at it. Lean like, into the dead everything. mom joke. Lean, <laughs> lean into seriously. it. Oh my God. Make everyone around you so uncomfortable and just laugh to yourself. Make it a bit to yourself. I yeah. swear That's to God. That's literally why I don't go to funerals. I'm the worst. <laughs> if I died, would you go to mine? I feel, well, you. It's different because, like, I know people there and they know that I'm weird. But like, I'd go I to don't. Emily's funeral, be like, and here lies the best dick sucker in 2020 <laughs> in Miami, Florida. And someone's like, oh, how could you, my poor Emily? And like the disrespect. And I'm like, like oh, what she are you is talking about this was in her will. She told me to say this. <laughs> <laughs> she actually already paid for the headstone. <laughs> oh my dad starts crying at the funeral <laughs> he's like this he's is like i'm gonna miss her tits <laughs> tits mcgee <laughs> emily tits mcgee wade, wade. Oh. <laughs> oh. that should be my wrestler name <laughs> yeah. uh-huh. so all right that well stripper name a wrestler name we this need two was, more uh, before the pod's <laughs> over. <laughs> you know, Emily's <laughs> top five names. <laughs> Do you have any last words for the audience? Ah, uh, last words. Um whatever you do just have fun dude, <laughs> like, dude just, just live life fun. just live laugh love <laughs> guys cheddar to the dome cheddar, don't forget cheddar to the dome oh my god that was such a good fucking episode. how is it Hilarious. like from listening to the episodes <laughs> How is it like listening to the episodes to now being on one? Um, I don't know. Is there a difference? Are like, you excited to listen to yours? Like how we how how our I episode am excited went? To listen to mine because I feel like I was like extremely high during the whole thing. So <laughs> welcome to Two <laughs> Girls One like One. I, I don't feel like I talked much. I don't know. It was weird. It was weird. Experience. Did we not let you talk? Oh my god! I, I said a lot, but I didn't talk. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I feel Wait, like, it's like I have a problem Sorry. with that. No, no, no. I did. I said a lot. Was I, I interrupting you? No, absolutely not. No, no I'm paranoid. I'm, I'm just, just high. Go kill myself. I'm gonna cut it out. <laughs> I'm high. No, I'm just high. Okay. Um, we love so yeah, you. that's weird. It was like a, <laughs> it's like a time space warp thing going yeah, on. Yeah, no, this, <laughs> this this room does that. I don't you. even know what we talked about, guys. I don't. <laughs> I feel like we said a whole lot of nothing. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's why we have post production. <laughs> but that's also what the podcast is like. I feel like every I episode, love it. it's, it's great, it's amazing. Uh, I don't know. I don't have any last words really. Like, yeah, dude, just have fun, dude. Monumental. Like, Thank you so much. <laughs> The philosopher Work hard, of her time, hard. Dina Cruz. Um, I don't know. Let me look up a Drake quote. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you to that. the Dina. <laughs> the Dina. I you did put that here too. <laughs> Where can everyone find you, Dina? Uh, on Instagram, TikTok, and pretty much everywhere. It's D dot N U three H's. It's phonetically spelled Dina for the handicapped. Um, hell yeah, yeah, brother. Why That's not? easy. We'll put it down below. You see. Put it in the caption. We love Put it you. in the description. Put it in all the places. Put it in their butt. What? Not that place. You said all the places. <laughs> <laughs> Those goddamn entities. <laughs> 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 all right. We love you guys. Don't forget to leave us a voicemail. A five star written review. Share our podcast with a friend. Um, like. Can you like the Instagram videos? <laughs> can you? Yeah, yeah, please. No love. <laughs> Yeah, I think we're shadow banned. The algorithm's hating us right now, so we we need you. All right, we love you. Bye.